Hello, students. Um, welcome to class. I have a very good uh, Olympiad question right before us on the screen. I'm solving it now. And I want you to just watch and see the tricks, how I'm going to work this to find the value of X. So let's go straight to solution. Solution. Okay, now since we have this, remember, just check the numerator. You have 12, 12 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x in four places. So it's just like saying uh, y plus y plus y plus y is 4y, okay? It's 4y. So what we are going to do is uh, to have 12 raised to power x in four places is going to be 4 uh, into 12 raised to the power x okay the same thing with the number with the denominator if you do it is in three places so it's going to be three into eight raised to the power x so this is equals to three now check it out this is going to be four over three okay i can have it like this then i can have 12 over 8 or raised to power x. Now, why? Remember in indices, if I have, um, uh, let's say, x raised to power n and y raised to power n, provided the powers are the same, I can write it as x over y or raised to power n. Hence, the conclusion I made. Then this is equal to 3. Okay. Now, check it out. I can decide to get rid of this 4 over 3 here so that I can find my x. And how do I do that? I can decide to multiply it by the inverse, which is 3 over 4. But whatever I do here, I will do on this side also, which is um, 3 all over 4. So you can see that this cancels this, cancels this. So I've, get, I've gotten rid of it. So I'm going to have my 12 all over 8 all over raised to power x. Then checking this out, nothing cancels out except we can say 3 times 3, which is 9 all over 4. Now looking at it, I have 12 over 8, I have 9 over 4. I'll start suspecting that I can do something with it. Now check it out. I'm going to reduce this 12 over 8 to the minimum so that... Um, 4 into this is 3, and 4 into this is um, 2. So I'm going to have 3 over 2, all raised to power x. Now, check it out. Look at this. Do you know that 9 can be written as 3 raised to power 2, and 4 can be written as, uh, sorry, as 2 raised to power 2? And this is the same as saying 3 over 2, all raised to power 2. Therefore, I'm going to have 3 over 2 or raised to power x is equal to 3 over 2 or raised to power 2. And check it out. Now, for these two entities to be the same, their bases are the same. Remember indices? So here we have uh, 3 over 2 and here we have 3 over 2. So for them to be equal to each other, it means that the powers and the bases must be the same. So we can make a conclusion that our x is equal to 2. Hence, we solve our x is equal to 2. That is what it is. It's as simple as that. Now, you can go back to your question and check it by substituting x having the value of 2. Now, if you do that, this is what you are going to get. So you can see on the screen, I've replaced the x with 2, all right? So this is going to be 144 plus 144 plus 144 plus 144. Then everything all over 8 squared is 64 plus 64 plus 64. Now, this will give us uh, 576 at the numerator and at the denominator, 
I'm going to have 192. Dividing it, we are going to have 3. That proves that what we've done is actually very correct uh, to be equals to 3. So that is how we do it. Um, I want to believe you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of interesting math videos that I'll be showing you. Thank you for being with me.